Hi everyone and welcome back to the Botanical Witch. Today I wanted to show you how to make really simple ritual candles when you're on a budget. So as you can see I've got a plain unscented pillar candle and I got this from the Dollar Tree. So I want to show you how to go from this plain candle to something like this. This is actually a healing candle that I made earlier today. And this is also made with a Dollar Tree pillar candle. So ritual candles are really nice to add to, you know, the ritual um, to give it more power, some more energy. It helps to focus on the intent more but ritual candles can be a little expensive. So I like to make my own because it's very inexpensive and you can make them for any intention that you choose. And like this one can be used over and over for emotional healing. So today I'm gonna make a simple stress relief calming type of candle. So when I'm feeling um, agitated or I need a little bit of stress relief, you know, I'm putting my intention of calmness into this candle and I can light that and feel um, definitely calm. I'm also using herbs that correspond with relaxing and sleep and calmness as well. So what you're gonna wanna do I don't know if you can see this well, but, and it has herbs at the bottom of this bowl, but I melted um, a purple candle and you can actually, if you don't have an actual purple candle, you know, like tea light or votive that you can melt in a bowl um, and you just have the seven day glass candles that you can get at the Dollar Tree. Um, you know, I like to take something hot and melt that, but Typically, I always try to have at least some colored votives or tea lights on hand so that I can melt them down. So once you melt it down, um, what you're going to do is you're going to be very careful at this point because this wax is extremely, extremely hot. Um, so you're going to take your pillar candle and it can be any color you want. I just choose white because I feel that white is a universal color in its purity. Um, so the colors that I add to it are what makes the candle a different intention. So for example, this is a white candle, but I put blue candle wax on it to signify healing. And I also put herbs that correspond with healing as well. So what you're going to do is get a simple spoon or something to that effect where you can actually pour the wax on the candle. I like to add some on the top and then have it drip down the sides. And just play around with it. I mean, like I said, it's it's your candle. You can make it look however you want. But I do on the top try to cover the entire top with the color that I'm using. And as you can see, I have leftover herbs. I had dressed this candle that I melted for peace and calm, and that's what all the herbs are that you see. Okay, so now that we are done um, dripping the candle wax on the candle, what I like to do is kind of move it out of the way so it doesn't get stuck on the paper. And that's what it looks like. It's a light purple color. So it's not the dark purple, but you can see 
the drips down the sides and on the top. So the next important step is uh, before you go any further, I like to bless and charge all of the herbs that I'm going to be using for this candle. You can also put crystals on top. These ones are a little bit too small um, to add crystals on top, but the larger pillars you know, I add crystals and charms and stuff like that. But, you know, I don't want it to be a huge, huge fire hazard. So I go ahead and um, cleanse and charge and bless my herbs that I'm going to be using. And I thank them for their, their help in this. Um, and these were already cleansed and they were already charged before this video. So just to save a little bit of time. So what I'm gonna do is, and I realize that most people don't have this at home, but I have a heat gun, and I use this for wrapping my bath bombs and soaps and that sort of thing, so this works out for me. But if you don't have a heat gun, you're going to wanna take something um, like a, a hair dryer, for example, and just lightly blow on the top of this so that it's a little bit melted so that your herbs stick to the top. I'm going to melt the top of this a little bit. There we go. Okay. And I'm going to add a little bit of chamomile. As you can see, it's already dried. So I push down a little bit just so that this chamomile will stick. You don't want to add a lot of herbs because not only will that clog the wick, but it will catch on fire if you have a lot of herbs on your candle. And you want to put them um, away from the wick, so on the outside. Okay, I'm going to do this again and I'm going to add my next herb. And I'm adding a little bit of lavender and I'm going to push down on it so that it does stick. And that's what it looks like so far. And then the third herb I have is rose petals. And I'm going to add a couple rose petals. And again, I may have to melt it. I didn't work very fast with that one. Okay, this is what it looks like. You can put them in any arrangement that you want on top. And I like to add a little bit of biodegradable glitter. It just gives it a little pizzazz. So I sprinkle a little bit around the candle on top. I like everything a little bit extra, so I always tend to add glitter to my stuff. And this is what it looks like. You have a ritual candle now for peace and calm and relaxation. And so after I am done putting all my herbs on the candle and it's 100% complete, I really like to hold the candle in my hand and focus and meditate on my intention for peace and calm and relaxation. And when you're done infusing this beautiful candle with your energy, it's ready to use. And each time you use it, use it with intent. And never blow out your candle, just snuff it out so that it can be used again You are able to use candles that um, have fragrances. This one that I did for emotional healing is vanilla. And vanilla is very calming and it's great for healing. So that's why I used a vanilla candle for this. However, this one is just fragrance free. You can also use um, any of the colored pillars that you want. So for example, if you want a red one, you could make an intention candle just like this 
out of a red one for maybe love or passion, um, that sort of thing. So, you know, don't feel that you have to use a white candle. I just prefer white. So that is it. That is how you make your own ritual candle on a budget. And this probably cost me, without the herbs, this only cost me $2. And if you don't have a lot of herbs on hand, um, I do understand that not everybody is a green witch and has thousands of jars full of herbs like I do. So if that is the case, use stuff from your grocery store. Um, if you can only get your hands on you know, a few rose petals and you don't have any chamomile or lavender, just use one. If you don't have any herbs, you don't have to use those. It's your intention and your energy that's going into the candle that actually means something. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. And if you try it out, let me know what you think and what type of candles you've been making. And until next time, I hope you all have a magical day.